All right, ladies and gents, I want us to look at this one. This one. Let us quickly look at this one. Uh, construct a, a suitable isometric scale and draw an isometric projection of this model. Point P must be the lowest point in the, the drawing. No hidden details is necessary. <coughs> no hidden details is necessary. So this is dedicated to entry student which they will be writing this week so i'd like to say uh, i wish you all the best start practice as early as possible so let us see as much as you don't know whether you'll be writing about isometric or 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 perspective drawing so now it is the responsibility of you to practice them both understand <coughs> so so let us look at this one we are given two views here in what in first angle orthographic projection we are given two views in first angle orthographic projection and this angle of orthographic projection it's a first angle orthographic projection so which is very much important especially in this topic of what of as isonometric so so the first one if they are given in this it will be what it will be front view and then this one it's a left view so it is very much important to observe the law of orthographic projection so now we are going to start so here in this case this is entry we are not using those scales that we we are used to two. the one is to one one is to two two is to one those different types of scale you understand we have to construct a suitable isonometric scale you understand so how are we going to do that we are going to use this set square as well as this one the both of them to construct our suitable isonometric scale so let's start so I'll start to have this line. I'll just draw a line like this out of dimension. Then from there, I draw another one that should be just perpendicular against it. You understand? So I come to say this is my R. You understand? So from there, I take this set square of it. Uh, this is the 45 set square I draw a faint line out of dimension like this so I hope you can see my faint lines I hope you can see my faint line like this then from the very same angle right I mean from the very same point then from the very same point R I put angle 30 degrees anti-clockwise as well there you go out of dimension we are still constructing a what an isonometric scale you understand so after i've drew these two angles this is angle 45 degrees anti-clockwise 45 this one 30 anti-clockwise isn't it so i come to the views that i i am going to draw i come and take the what the biggest dimension there so the biggest dimension there is 130 we do not have anything above that so what what am i going to do with that i come <coughs> and take my 30 uh, millimeter ruler and mark it at 10. so this 10 10 10 10 i will divide this 110 uh, 130 millimeter into 10 so this is going to be 10 I come here at the point R, I mark, this is going to be my zero point, this one. So I mark at the what? At the line of 45, not at the line of 35, you understand? I mark at the line of 45, so from, from point R to zero is 10 millimeter. Then I mark zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 
one third I can end at 140 so like that so I can come to see 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 10 20 120 100 and then at 140 I can stop you understand so uh, you can stop at 130 or at 140 because you do not have a 131 135 140 you understand there by your what your views where you're about to draw you understand so from there so from there what are we going to do you take your 30 millimeter or so this one after you, you 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 have through this you can now forget about it this 45 you can now forget about it so you can from now on this is what you'll be using because in isonometric we use uh, this type of a set square you understand so now you are going to project them vertically down up until they touch your 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 30 uh, de uh, uh, de uh, degrees line once they touch your 30 you stop you don't cross them you don't draw them across so zero to that one you stop there you understand then 10 to angle 30 degree line you stop there 20 you stop there 40 you stop there then 50 like that You see, so you see somebody having a faint line till somewhere there. Now, when they are taking these lines, they will want to stop here. It's actually wrong. So what I'm 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 teaching you, check it in your engineering drawing textbook. It is there. So now, this one. So guys, sorry, some of your comment I cannot uh, able to reply them because I am drawing. You understand, but let's try to practice as much as you'll be writing a uh, engineering drawing on wednesday and three this coming wednesday so there you go so there you go there you go so in in case in the final examination they are saying time up when now you've through your when now you're at this stage and the check is paying a march is paying 15 marks about two marks is already in your pocket you understand two marks is already in your pocket so two out of 15 if you throw it like this so if the question say construct an isonometric scale and draw an isonometric projection of the of this module this is the isonometric scale so what we are about to draw now we will be recording dimension from here then we 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 we, we convert them according to the isonometric scale so now let's start so you are going to remember Uti, when you draw an isometric, uh, isonometric uh, drawing you'll be advisable to start your drawing a uh, little bit down little bit down a bit center because what you're about to draw it will be going up you understand if so if they say let point p to be your lowest point eh? if they say let point p to be lo your lowest point so that is the point p they are talking about that's the point p they are talking about so from the point p i am going to uh, open a uh, 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 angle 30 degrees anti-clockwise and clockwise So from point P, I'll draw a faint line coming this side. Again, another faint line coming this side, like this. Then from there, now let's see. From the point P coming this side, I must first what I see to come this side. You understand? Because this is what this is your front view. In, in, and this is your left view so it's supposed to be 
on your left hand side you understand so that's where the orthographic projection it is important in entry isometric drawing understand because you can draw it the other way around nicely clean correct but you still get a zero there or two out of 15 because of you did not understood the uh, what the orthographic projection so my brother this is engineering drawing entry uh, the previous question paper that was written on, on the 11 august 2023 you understand so now so whatever dimension i see on the left i am going to deal with them this side eh? because this is what this is my left view so whatever dimension i see at, at this view which is my uh, uh, front view i am going to tolerate them uh, this side for instance from point p which is this one eh? I, I want to move from here till there from here till there is a march 130 so now take your drawing numbers you are not going to say 130 eh? then you measure it like this anymore you are not going to so which means at this stage you throw away this one your 30 millimeter ruler you forget about it because we are going to convert the 130 so i see 130 now check this you come back to what your isometric scale you come back to your isometric scale then your true zero it will be now this one the converted one so you place it here further till extended uh, toward 230 that one check your 130 is that one but now the converted one it will be that one so which means i place it at the zero converted like this further extended to what to 130 converted which means now i'll be using the what the 30 degrees line no longer the 45 eh? but the 30 degrees which is this one so now i come without disturbing your compass i come to what to my point p i place it and give it a mark there understand so from here till there is the what is the converted 130 degree and so from here till here i can have it dark now from here till there solid or dark so from here i can let me adjust this table so that i draw faster so can you see my faint line guys can you see my faint lines i'm drawing at the night here We are here. Right. Then we set from here till here, 130, isn't it? So, which is this one from there till they converted now. So, after we've gotten that one, I can go up now, faint. Go up, faint. There you go. Then, after I've gotten that one, so I see a height of 100 millimeter. Both from here till there is 30, 130 millimeter converted. Where your 130 converted going up, there is a height of what of 100 millimeter. So, which I have to get it from here going up there. Raise this one. So uh, 100 millimeter, you go back to your, to your scale to record the 100 millimeter. So from here, 100 millimeter is this one, which means I must open it till here. So which is this one, 100 millimeter. After I've gotten it, you go back to your what to your drawing from here till there is the 100 millimeter. So 
I cannot dra draw it dark yet. So my 100 millimeter ends, I can put this line and put this one. This one. I cannot draw it dark yet because I, uh, you see, Uti, what is happening here? You see, so I cannot draw it dark. So uh, uh, <coughs> the dark line that I can draw till it's actually from here to there, from here to there. <coughs> so we're told to where 100, uh, 100 millimeter ends go back with what? With 30 millimeter. Understand? So from here till there. Is 100 millimeter where your 100 millimeter ends go back with what with 30 millimeter so remember you don't record the date you 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 get it right from your from your isonometric scale so my 30 millimeter is this one isn't it 0 10 till 30 so I there is my 30 now without disturbing my drawing compass then I come to to this point then I mark 30. So which means from here till there I can draw it dark. You understand? Which is which one? Is this one. From here till there. You understand? So where my 30 ends, I can get this one from here till there. How? Get it faint. There you go. Then from there, we see, we are told the thickness is what is 20 millimeter, from here to here is 20 millimeter. So if it's 20, you can simply go back to your, to your isonometric scale again to, add, to record the, the, the 20 millimeter. From here to here is 20 which I can come, place it here, and give it a mark there. And I can draw it dark without fear of hair from here till there, as much as I can see it from there till there, solid and it's that corner. So I can have it dark from here till there. Then once I get here, I can draw a faint line going down which is this one, which is which one? It's this one from here till there. So again, from here till there, the thickness of 20 millimeter, which is this one, you have took it already. So come and place it here, give it a mark there. Then now I can, throw it faint, back to point what, point P which is what which is where we started and we can see what it's actually a solid line till right there so which means from here till there till there till there i can have it solid there you go and here you go Close it here. Point P. So which one is this one? It's this one. This one. There you go. There you go. So now I can. The moment I can now take this point. The moment I'm taking this point, which means I'm con uh, I'm considering what point? Uh, the I'm considering the left view, which is this one. Which is this one. So now we are told what from point P, which is this one going this direction is what is 90 so 90 millimeter you go back to what to your isonometric scale remember i put it along the line of 30 0 till 90 there is my 90 so i'll open it till right here this is it now i come to my drawing portion i place it at point p a mark so this from here till there is the converted 90 millimeter. So from here, I can now have it dark from here till there. Dark.
where your 90 ends i can go up with what with 20 millimeter which is what we already have so from here from here till the and i can have it dark now from here till right there so from here going this direction i'll just take it faint at the moment just throw it faint so this one i can erase it now because from here till here that's what i needed so going up further i don't need it anymore so i can erase it before it step me so now come and analyze the the views very well now okay we've gotten this one we've gotten this one and this part of your front view is in the middle of of the center 90 so which means you cannot draw it here that's where majority of uh, of other uh, of other guys they do out there so this one they will want to throw this right from this you understand it's actually not starting here who's telling us that is the is the is the what is the left view that is actually starting in the center so now which means now from here till here 130 we've dealt up we've already dealt about it so from here till there is 30 millimeter so let's deal with that one 30 millimeter go back to your isometric scale isn't it don't forget zero eight which is this one then now i come and place it here whether here or here is still on the same thing i place it here so this 30 millimeter is which one is this one from here till there you understand so which is from here to there so that one is going to give me the center so and this center is gonna go towards your left hand side so i'll draw it faint this is it then from there check it there by because we are we want to draw this we want to draw this you understand so and it is very much important for us to to begin with both this support eh? this one this one is this supporter this one is this supporter there too so the big one it will be you find that it will be the bottom part of it will be it will be beyond it will be beyond this so it is necessary for for us to start with it understand so now the half of 90 is 45 so go back to your to your scale isometric scale so uh, uh, there by the angle 40, uh, 45 degrees we must look 45 so 45 is between 40 and 50 Hey, it's my 40 50 so i must get 45 right there so do you see that we firstly get the 45 way along the line of 45 degrees eh? we firstly get the 45 along the line of 45 degrees then from there we convert it we convert it down toward to uh, to the line of your 30 30 degrees and from there the 45 that we're looking for now we can get it place it at zero further extend it to 245 which is this one now after disturbing your drawing compass you can place it here then you mark so this is going to be your 45 so i can draw a I draw it faint for now i draw it faint and remember this is the bottom so we are told what it is a diameter this one is a diameter it's not a square so from here till here is diameter 40. from here till here they are telling us what is diameter 40. so we have to draw a sonometric cycle there so now how are we going to get that so we are going to uh, consider the height 
let's see the height of it the set is what is 70 millimeter so from this point eh, from this point take a vertical line going up a vertical line going up and that line it will be just a faint line don't take it as a center you understand so from there going up get a what a, a, a dimension of 70 millimeter converted so go back to your isometric scale i place it at zero to 70. so there is my 70 then after i've gotten my 70 i come and place it here and mark understand so then that's where my servant ends isn't it at that point servant ends i can erase this one now i don't need it so at that point i can put a this centers a center line at an angle of 30 degrees clockwise and a center line at an angle of of the uh, degree uh, of angle 30 anti-clockwise like this <laughs> right then after i've gotten that what do we have to do now now we are going to draw diameter 40 diameter 40 so how do you draw diameter 40 you divide 40 by 2 is in so that to get 20 so you go back to our isometric scale place it as zero to the half of 40 which is 20 this is it then i come and place it here at center i mark here and i mark there and i mark here and i mark here i don't draw a cycle you understand i don't draw a cycle i just give points then from there let me get an exit point there it is then from here till here is the converted 40 millimeter according to the isometric scale from here till here is the converted 40 millimeter according to isometric scale so now what i'm gonna do i'll draw a faint line at this point there you go and i flash it to the second one there you go then I come to this one I'm actually creating a square so there you go then like this we go so we've got a square one two three four it's a square isn't it so one two three four it's a square from here till here the, uh, uh, from this corner and this one this is the center of these two corners 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 you understand so now we are going to join the two longest opposite corner so this method you guys you can check it there there by our youtube channel you just search itutas digital school way we teach this uh, method of isonometric cycle properly yeah we are just in a hurry so now i am going to join the two longest opposite corner you can still tune there by our youtube channel itotas digital school i join the two longest opposite corner and when i'm joining these two longest opposite corner this line of this line this line of yours it has to pass exactly the center like this one of ours understand it mustn't pass nearby or and I test to pass exactly the center like this one of ours then from there I join the center to corner corner to center and these two lines of yours they must be parallel to each other so I join the what the center point to a corner like this and a corner to center so the time we're joining a, a center to corner a center to corner corner to center point your longest uh, opposite corner line it was cut it which means you're going to place your drawing compass here further extend here then you get an arc like this come this side place it here further extend here then you get this arc like this so i'm trying to be fast let us do it
so there you go so you can draw you can draw it dark like this I've gotten it so this other side place it here till there dark so remember the set is what is diameter 40 diameter 40 so that is why we are drawing this is diameter 40 so now to close it up there you place the drawing compass here there you go to close it down here you place it here there you go so let us do it so you have to be accurate because if you are not accurate you'll find that your arc it won't be it won't be closing you see so so look at ours it's closing nicely so let's check the bottom part seems to be so there you go so right so almost here so now what we are going to do ne? so after we've gotten this after we've gotten this remember this is the what is the upper part of 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 this of this one so this eh, is actually right there so now we we are gonna uh, we're gonna go vertically down so what you did here eh, what you did here you're supposed to do it you do it down there now so how we started with what with the with the the 20 we set from here till here 20 20 20 20 isn't it so let's just record that Or you can still go back to your to your to your isonometric scale. So what you did up there, we are going to do it here now. So I mark here. I give a mark this side. I strike an arc here. I mark here as well. So and uh, sorry guys, some of your comment I cannot read them because I I I am actually drawing. You understand? So I'm not focusing on the, the screen. I'm just focusing on the paper. But let's uh, draw together. So now, yeah, let's try to have a what a, an, a, an exit point. So, so it's gonna be there. So even the side exit point is that one. So what you did up there, you are going to do it down here. You understand? What you did up here, you are going to do it down there. So how I'll just get, I don't know, like the way it just faint line passing this point at an angle of 30 clockwise faint line prior to this one that we just drew faint. Eh? So now from here till there, so now we can faint as well so that we have this point in this one is the same as this one and that one so again from here there you go so you join the longest uh, the two longest opposite corner you see even with my t square you see even with my t square it shows that we are at a right track so even with my t square you see that it's coming is actually horizontal with my t-square so uh, you join the two longest opposite corner then from there you take your 30 millimeter ruler you join the what the, the center point to a corner point corner point to a center point and these two lines they, are, they will be parallel to each other so there you go faint there you go faint so on this one on on this one the bottom one you have to be very careful it's not gonna be a full cycle like that one you understand it won't be a full cycle like that one so now come and place the drawing compass here further extend it to this one so draw this one faint you draw it faint uh, draw it faint till there even this one it's supposed to be faint 
still there somewhere there but the bottom one is gonna be dark from here till there so you draw it dark so now you take your, your t-square So now I am going to draw a line which is called a tangent. A tangent. In mathematics, they call it a tangent. That will start from this point to that one. So it has to touch the 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 circumference of the circle. It must be nearby and it must be cross. So I normally used to say from this point to that one and this one to that one. Now dark. You see that this line is actually vertical. Dark from here till then. And dark from here till then. You understand? So, in other ways, we've gotten this. This one. We've gotten this one. So now you can come back to what to draw it dark here. And here. Now. So actually the trick of this entry in uh, engineering drawing isonometric it was actually here so now you can have it dark even here stop there right then from here guys you can now see what you can follow what you can uh, let's follow oscar is saying this part of the exam on Wednesday. Yes, my brother, you'll be writing this one. <laughs> I'm joking, not particular this one, but they will be isonometric. If not isonometric, they will be perspective drawing. And you can tune there by our YouTube channel where we are teaching. We've got plenty of uh, of what? Of uh, of a uh, perspective drawing and isonometric drawing there by our YouTube channel. So the YouTube, you just search Itotas Digital School. Even here on our content, there are there, it's just clips. But when you go there, you will reach full videos. There are so many grade 10, 11, 12 perspective drawing, entry perspective drawing. So they are there. So on Wednesday, it's either isometric or perspective drawing. So it will it's actually your duty to know them both because you don't know which one is gonna come. So now let's con uh, let's come let's continue. Uh, uh, what do we have now? So from here till here we have hundred millimeter, which is what we did here, isn't it? Let's finish up now. So from here till there, hundred millimeter. So let's take this point at this direction faint. That's where our hundred millimeter is ending, isn't it? It's ending right there and then now where our hundred millimeter ending so we see that from here till here is what is 90 millimeter which is what we have to get there so I uh, let me try to zoom it in just a little bit so that you see my faint lines so then uh, uh, Which is what we've dealt with it from here till there. So I can end the we will have to get the half of it because there is dimension uh, like fifty and forty, which are are, are are acting in in between. Um, as much as you can see that this if from here till here forty five is dividing actually all the dimensions up there. So you can simply come back and remember we've done it. If you've forgotten it, you can still go back to your, to your isonometric scale, like this, place it at zero, further extend it to 245, which is the half of 90, isn't it? Like this, at the line of 30 degrees, you understand? So, now you come back to what, to this point, from here I mark, from here till it's 45, and I mark there. So let me erase that 30. 
that did it decrease from here till there and from here till there so from here till there is 90 millimeter convected to an isometric scale so where my 90 ends i can put just a faint line as if i'm closing it like this so this one is going to be the center this one isn't it so can you draw it like this so there what you can do you are having a dimension of 50 millimeter so this 40 millimeter is not actually part of this eh? It is it, it, this diameter 40 it was actually talking about what we've just uh, uh, deal with you understand so now what we can do what we can do we are going to say 50 divided by 2 we are getting 25 go back to your isometric scale and get the 25 millimeter do you have 25 millimeter there you we don't have which means if we don't have we have to get it and remember we are getting it along the line of 45 degrees you understand along the line of 45 degrees not at the 30 degrees so we firstly we, we firstly get the 25 this is 20 this is 30 isn't it so there is our 25 25 millimeter 25 and I project it down and by projecting it down I am now converting it to 30 degrees you understand so now I can place it at my zero like this and further extend it to what to 25 which is this one so now I come without disturbing my drawing compass and now I can now come and what and mark like this from here center 25 and 25 so which means from here to here is now 50 millimeter converted to an isometric scale so i can just draw a faint line like this and another one like this so i'm fear to draw them dark for now come back and analyze it properly and analyze it properly you see that you, you you are still having some other dimension that from where your 50 ends there is 10 millimeter where your 50 begins there is 10 millimeter so which we we have to add add those 10 there so go back to add to your isometric scale to record the 10 millimeter along the line of 30 degrees i place it here and there is my 10 millimeter isn't it so now without disturbing it i come and from here i mark there and i mark here so from there i can faint coming this side and faint coming this side so remember this this is the top part of it which it was not given to us isn't it the views that we are given is only the front and the left so we assume the 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 the, the top view what is supposed to be like this by using the front and the left uh, we are told which is of thickness 20 which is this one from yetlia isn't it so now so now what can we do so now from this point eh, from this point we can was this let me explain it nicely this point eh, this one is now this one do you see it, they said from here to the, remember that this is the center isn't it so from here till here is what is half of is half of 20 uh, of 50 which means from here till here is is uh, is 25 so where this 25 ends there is what 10 millimeter from here till there is 10 millimeter so if i see this point from here till there which means without fear or favor i can now join this point like this solid anyone solid and Join this one from there till the solid.
I won. And I confirm that with what? With my left view. Which, okay, it's not straight up till like this, you understand? So, which means even here, supposed to be like this. So, now I can have this one solid from here till there. Yeah, everyone. So after I've gotten that, that's where uh, you can tend to miss it there. And you must know what is this one? What is this one? What is this one? Okay, this one's a support. This one's the back part view of it. Uh, so now let me take this point, this one, this direction faint. So there you go, I take it faint. So now I am going to take this point vertically down and this one vertically down, faint for now. You understand? So this is that 10. So once it touch here, I take it faint towards my point P as well as this one, faint towards my point P. So the moment I'm taking them right from up there, there they go, there they go. So they're gonna give me what this from here till there. I want from here till there. I'm already having it. So what is missing now is the what is this dimension of 45. So from where from here till there 45, which means from this point coming this side, I must measure 45 millimeter. So go back to what to an isometric scale. Place it at zero to 45, which is 40, 50, 45 is this one. So now without disturbing your drawing tampers, so now I can come and place it here and mark. There is my 45 end. After I've gotten that point, so I can just take it, faint. There you go. So now from here, Till up there, yeah? let me put it nicely. So from this point, from here till up there, I can now get what this line from there till there. So this support, I'm going to see it clearly now. And again, this one from here till there with your 30 millimeter rule. You understand? And now I draw it dark here. From here till then. Anyone. So again, I am going to have this one dark now. I can draw it dark. Because I can see with this supporter. Okay, this supporter is like this. Okay. Now and have it this one. Dark. So this one, I cannot draw it dark. It's actually talking about the back view of it, this one. And of which they said, the question said, no hidden details is necessary. So, which means in case you show them, they are not going to penalize you. Or you'll be just wasting your time in the final examination. So don't even uh, 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 do them. So, he's saying after you're done with this drawing, then exam is over. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, okay. So now let us uh, get the second supporter, which is so this one that we just got now is this one. Eh? So now there are two, isn't it? But there by your what your front view, you cannot see what there are two up until you come and view it there by your left view, and you see what okay, there are actually two, which is the second one. So now that is why they said 10, which is that one. So now what we're gonna do we are going to do what we did here so take this point vertically down so there you go even the second one even though it's going to talk about the what the back view so you're going to take it up until that is why this one was it was necessary to take it you understand so uh, remember earlier i said it is very much important for us to start with what is up front to us to whenever we view our left view what we're going to see up front is this part so it is the one that we have to draw first you understand so check what is happening now so the moment remember if you're still here you take this point 
you took it like this there you go once touch it isn't it so you'll be doing the very same thing but now from from here till somewhere there from here till here, it will be dark from here till somewhere there it will it will it will be in hidden so there is the point that will be directing remember after you've gotten this point you just took your 30 millimeter ruler you join this the uh, this point with that one so which means in this one you join this one with this but now from here till here it will be in hidden of which is what we are not after but this one from here till there without fear or favor is supposed to be dark this one supposed to be dark so now let's take the second one which is that one which will correspond with this so you take it at an angle of 30 as well there you go faint hmm? faint there you go then i want to touch there it's supposed to be directed to what to that point with your 30 millimeter rule remember you directed this one to that one now you direct this one to that one 30 millimeter but from here till there it will appear as hidden but from here till there it will be dark you understand so now you can come back and and be like okay this it was a supporter which means here yeah, it's supposed to be dark from here till there supposed to be dark and from here till there supposed to be a, a solid then this one again is going to be solid from here till there so from here till there it's going to appear as hidden of which is what we are not drawing you understand so now let's see let's see what is going to happen remember that when you look at your at your you take a closer look there by your left view we this corner eh, there are two because there by your friend view this one eh, this one is actually this eh? so now the second one there by your front view we assume that is at the back there up until you come and view it there by your front but okay there is another one at the back so now let's see what is going to appear or what so how are we going to see that we are going to take this point at an angle of 30 degrees clockwise faint there you go you understand so after you've gotten that come back to what to take this this uh, center vertically down remember this is the center the center it will it will divide everything according so you can simply get the exit point there you can simply uh, do it as like they've told you what is 90 millimeter or you just place your drawing compass like this and further extend to, to this point that you're looking for which is this one and go and mark there you see that is very close it's very close so which means this point this one this one which is that one is supposed to be directed to that one so it, it almost not be visible so it will be right there then once it gets there it's gonna go vertically down as much as even this one it went down but down till where till right here so it almost uh, gotten not visible so now you can go back to your top view uh, and have it dark from here till there and dark from here till there and dark from here till here so that is the top upper part of it let's see is there anything left is there anything left uh, do we have any hole here a gap something like this we do not have so which means it's supposed to be like this so uh, let's finish up now so we we are going to have this line dark from here till there as well there you go and again now from here till there is going to be solid so
so this is it so thank you very much guys for watching that was mr nkosi please go go to a uh, to your youtube and just search it to test digital of this a uh, kind of drawings that they are there they are posted there so this is what it was engineering drawing this previous question paper it was written uh, 11 august 2023 under what isonometric so any question you just let me know any question you'll just let me know so thank you very much guys for watching this one it's it's what is i saw is um it's assembled drawing it's also posted today in our youtube channel youtube channel this one is also posted there so i won't even do it with you you just tune there there by our youtube channel you search it to test the digital school you save the live video you go to videos a uh, live video you get this one uh being thrown step by step you understand step by step so so we've done with this one any question i think it was simple straightforward so the trick it was actually here so you can just tune there by our youtube channel you see as where we are teaching uh, uh, how to analyze a view how to analyze you so th so thank you very much guys for watching good luck on your final examination that you'll be writing this week engineering drawing in three so any question so how was it this is the solution so from here till here so i think the other important thing we we have to follow each other but i don't know we are following each other two way i think to success yeah yeah let's follow each other after the view i'll also follow back everyone also ever followed me i'll also follow back so that was it so any question So remember it should be this one with as a isonometric scale or this one or this one which is what a, a two point perspective drawing so you have to practice them both and uh, for the uh, is it two consecutive blocks if i'm not mistaken but the last trimester there was perspective drawing there was perspective drawing if i'm not mistaken so highly chances for us to be tested on what on us and isonometric this time around you understand so any question so a uh, material is saying where can we rewatch the video so you can simply uh, go uh, search it to touch digital school my brother you're gonna get this video i think uh, within a period of uh, after this one i'll uh, i'll try to download it and repost it there by our youtube channel it to touch digital school but we are having plenty when you get there there is great 10 11 12 egd and uh, uh, n1 n2 psd n3 psd engineering drawing n1 n2 is there and uh, mechanical drafting n4 is there you just scroll scroll down you look at this one they are there my brother they are there even this one is it there there by our youtube channel so today we're busy with this so i think i've exhausted already so we we're busy with this one so this is the solution you understand so the trick here it was to draw this one in the center 
I will actually, uh, I won't call it a trick boss. We were given everything, and the majority of students they used to forget what this one isonometric scale. They used to forget isonometric scale. Please don't forget an isonometric scale. As much as the question is saying, construct a, a suitable isonometric scale. You understand? So they would be like using one is to one. Ah, if we're not given the scale, we just use one is to one. No, we don't. We don't. Do that. Okay, he's saying, please, can you write it down the channel? Uh, you search like this, my brother. Eh? Ne? You'll get it. It will tell You search e tutors digital school please when you get there subscribe and like the video you are watching just when you get there just subscribe my brother it's free of charge just subscribe and like the video you are watching and comment even if it's one with comment you understand so there are so many there so he's saying i'm a deaf person i love engineering graphics and design i always i always did it most time so you so you are deaf how do you so how do you hear us when you are deaf i think if you are deaf my brother you are going to need special attention i've never taught a uh, deaf people not death deaf you understand so uh, Material goes, he's saying, I'm watching from Zim. Oh, oh serious. He's saying he's watching from Zim, this one. So, uh, 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 it's my pleasure to have you watching us down here in Whitbank, Pumalang, South Africa. Uh, so, how, how is Zimbabwe, my brother? How is Zimbabwe? So, and I've got plenty of guys that I'm working with there whom are coming from that side. And they, they are very good. They are very good. They are my brothers, those ones. He's saying he's watching. Okay. So, guys, I think uh, this was the solution. So, this was the solution. And the trick, it was just here. The trick it was just like as I was saying, a majority of students they used to construct the scale. Ne? They will construct the scale as much as the question is saying. They will construct the scale, but now when they start to draw there by their the point P at the lowest point, they tend to forget using what? They tend to forget using the scale that they've just constructed. You understand? They'll just uh, take this dimension the way as they are. They see 120, they just take it with a 30 millimeter rule. It is wrong. It is wrong. It is wrong. You, 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 you'll even see your drawing is going to be very big. You understand? So you have to, after, after you've constructed a scale, whatever dimension that you do before you even construct it, before you even deal with it, you firstly convert it to your isometric scale. To your isonomic and where where we are teaching how do we convert an isometric how do we use an isometric scale you can just tune there by our youtube channel you search e to test digital school you will see us teaching how do you use an isometric scale uh, it's saying please can you uh, who's this one Pum uh, Pum is saying, please, can you do detailed drawing? Um, I think we'll, we'll do them uh, uh, tomorrow. Because now I've exhausted already. I'm even tired to talk. I, I had a long day. So, but uh, plenty of them, my brother. I think even the latest one, detailed drawing, if you can search there, Etutas Digital, uh, Etutas, Etutas Digital School, you will see, I think even a uh, two days if not if i'm not mistaken a uh, two days or three days but it's less than five days year a uh, 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 video that has been uploaded of detailed drawing you understand 
detail drawing we've done detail drawing just check it there our, by our youtube channel it's not this one i'm just taking a look at that previous question paper we did. Guys, we've done, we've done detail drawing, we've done assembled drawing. You can just check it there by our YouTube channel. It is there. But I think tomorrow we will do what what we we have been done. In case I meet a, a a a previous question paper that I've never saw, we attempt it together here. Yeah? So, uh, but much and a lot of of these uh, uh, entries previous question papers have been uploaded there so you can just search it to digital school you will find even this one we've done it it's uploaded is there this is what this is assembled drawing of a pistol it has been uh, uh, uploaded there you can just search it to digital school it to digital school you will see all of what i'm talking about i i think our I will stop here guys um, thank you i'm already subscribed oh thank you very much for your subscription dear i really appreciate it i did i did it much i explain as i uh, experienced that much so nee, how was it my brother did it much nee? so yeah, i think you, you are well experienced now on it so it's actually simple straightforward eh? so let's sleep guys to tomorrow it's another day i think tomorrow from eight from eight if it's not gora to eight will be live again we'll see what we'll be doing then after after wednesday we'll be uh, concentrating on pssd n2 pssd n2 but for now, we'll be just busy with drawing, catching, trying to catch up with the drawing, engineering drawing, as much as the operating. So please don't forget your YouTube channel, it teaches digital school, even a year on this uh, app. I've got some video clips where I've just, uh, just a, a few minutes playing time video and then after that if you check down there I, I i wrote that the full video you can search for it there by our youtube channel so thank you very much guys for watching see you tomorrow again okay. good night how was it that was it.